It's a critical tool to help save the lives of pets. And today the Detroit Fire Department got hundreds of them thanks to a special donation. When pets get stuck in a fire, they go through the same thing humans do. They suffer smoke inhalation or simply have trouble breathing. And that is where these specialized masks come in. Rob Maloney is live tonight. Rod, the DFD now has more than 200 of these. Well, uh, good afternoon. Uh, firefighters will tell you that cats are smarter than dogs when it comes to fires because the cats will go and hide, but the dog, well, the dog looks to get out of the house, and so that makes them more susceptible to that smoke inhalation. And so, firefighters are looking to help all people and animals get out of the house safely, but they needed this tool to help the pets get out because they didn't have enough of them. Last month, Detroit firefighters started pulling dogs, mostly puppies, out of a burning house. They had 17 of them gasping for air at one point. Sergeant Jim Nadolski was there and frustrated. They didn't have any animal oxygen masks. When you pull puppies out or any dog out of a situation like that, it's, it's pretty chaotic because everybody wants to save a dog. Despite heroic efforts, a couple of the adult dogs died. And when word about that story spread among animal lovers, donations showed up. And today, DFD took delivery of hundreds of animal oxygen masks. And if it's just like that, and then we're able to pump the bag. Enough to have one on every Detroit Fire Department vehicle, and they also got spare parts to boot. It's, this stuff is amazing. We had these years ago. They got lost in the shuffle. This is a specialty piece of equipment that is going to be instrumental in us saving countless animals' lives. And this is our arson dog pasta. Of course, the firefighters go and help people first, but pets are, after all, part of the family as well. Sharon Peters and her sister made this donation. And this is all done in memory of my dad, who was a police officer in Roseville for uh, 35 years, and he was an animal lover. And so he's their guardian angel, and he's taking care of them. The donations coming in were so vast after the story got out that DFD is now sending masks to other needy departments. Every fire department in this country should have these things. Now, the department had about five of these masks kicking around on the back of chief's cars and things, weren't being used effectively, and they probably got old anyway. And so they're very happy to have all of this new equipment that they can now help the pets as well as the people. Back to you. And Rod, where else are these masks going? Well, uh, you know, Sharon uh, had her sister with her, and she lives in Virginia, and she's going to be giving masks to a Virginia fire department. Much needed. Great story. Thank you, Rod.